I I can't go to school because oh. of the cold. Really? In your place? You have lots? Yeah. Okay, that's why you will not go to school. How about your online classes, Kayo? Your school has an online class? You have an online class or no school? No. Okay. No school. Okay, so here. So let us check this one. Okay, here is it. Oh, just wait a minute. Okay. Okay, so today, okay. Kiyo, we are now in our uh, writing 7.1. Okay. I ah, sorry, it's speaking seven point one. So we are nearly actually here. We are nearly finished with, uh, we are nearly finished with our pet classes. So I will just consult to the pantado what we're going to do after this one. Since we are almost done, I guess we only have. I can't. I can't. Uh, because in listening. We are done, and then reading, we only have one lesson left, and then in writing, um, I guess, around seven lessons also, and then in speaking, around seven lessons also. So we are just here, especially that we do have classes twice a day, so I guess probably next week or the week after next, we can have another topic, but I will just consult to Pantado if what will be your next topic. Because mostly you will have to undergo a grammar or I guess you can have to move to other other activity, I mean other materials. So now okay, so we are here in the 7.1 speaking class. So first questions, you know already. So all you have to do is to answer the questions properly. You have to answer it in full. And then of course you will have to answer me completely as what I am asking to you. So now here, uh, my first question is, have you ever eaten a really disgusting food while you were in a holiday? Like, um, example, you traveled to, uh, what's that? Wait, wait for a while. Did you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay, so have you, uh, have you tried uh, eating a really disgusting food in which you really don't like? And then because you're in the holidays so that you don't have choice, especially that you are staying in a hotel and then you just given a food which you really don't like. Yes. Oh, when was that? When was that? When I was in Dalat. Oh, in Dalat. Okay. Is Dalat very far in your place? No, Dalat is not very 
Okay, in like how many hours we travel? I don't think about that, but I think it's two hours. Oh, two hours. So that's roughly around 100 kilometers, probably. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe that's around 100 kilometers. So, so you have experienced that one who are with you when you were dining in, in the restaurant. Is it a fancy restaurant or a hotel? It's a hotel. I think it's a restaurant. Okay, it's a restaurant. So now I will ask you, okay, you have answered that one. Okay, so another one. So are you keen on eating seafood or do you have or do you love a meat? What do you like, seafood or meat? I like both. Oh, you like the two of them. Okay, but mostly, what do you like? Your favorite, like you like seed, you like to like shrimp, yeah, like you red fish, or you like chicken, you like pork, what? I like the best. Yeah, you like best. What? I like best is uh, chicken soup. Wow, you like chicken soup. Okay, how about noodles? Vietnamese love and they are very fascinated in eating the noodles. Right? You really yeah. love that one? Okay, now next question. How often do you eat chocolates and sweets like cakes? Do you like cakes? Yes. Yeah. Oh, how about chocolate? I like chocolate too. Oh, see, and so I myself, I love chocolate. I really don't love, I'm not, uh, I'm not fan of chocolates, but I love the chocolate flavor, like sweets, like cakes. I really love chocolate cake. How about you? I'm not really like chocolate because some are sweet and some are bitter. Oh, yes, of course. But how about cakes? Cupcakes? Cake, you like chocolate flavor or you like strawberry? I like strawberry flavor best. Oh, you like strawberry more than the chocolate. You don't like chocolate that much. Yeah. Okay. So now number four question. Did you used to eat a lot of sweets as a child or did you prefer your mom is trying to give you a lot of fruits? Uh, I don't know because I don't remember. Okay, when you are not really when you were still very young, like now, you're still a child, like now, you're still eight years old. So what is your mom used to give you like she has to give you a lot more on sweets or she has to give you a lot more on the fruits? Like mango, like, what is it? I have here, this is like this one. Oh, okay. I don't know what's this. Yeah, you have like this. It's mm -hmm. what is mm -hmm. what's this? Let's yeah, see. here, Where? It, yeah, yeah, here. It's a small tank. Yeah, I have it. You like this? Yes, I okay. like. Oh, okay. What do you call this? This in Vietnam. Sweet. Sweet? Oh, here. What do you call this in Vietnam? Wheat. Wheat? Yeah. Wheat? Yeah. In the Philippines, we call it is kiat kiat. Kiat kiat? Yeah, yeah, in the Philippines. But in Vietnam, it's tit, tit, tit. Tit. Not not quit. Quit. <laughs> Quit looks like a small orange. Oh. Yeah, okay. So now, another that one, since you told me that you don't, your mom doesn't, because uh, you keep on mentioning me about that one, that your mom doesn't like to give you a lot of sweets, like chocolate, especially chocolate. 
And saying, your oh. mom also loves to give you a vegetable. Your favorite Is one it? is broccoli. You love broccoli? Broccoli? Yeah, you love that? I don't love broccoli. Oh, what do you like most for the vegetable? I don't know. But you don't eat vegetables? I have eat vegetables. Always. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so now let's go to the drink. What is your favorite drink here? My favorite drink is orange. Orange juice and what? Orange juice and apple juice. Wow. You don't like milk tea? That's that's very common in Vietnam. A lot of kids like that, the milk tea. You don't like? I like milk tea. Mm -hmm. What's the flavor? What do you like the flavor? You like the mint, chocolate, or strawberry milk, strawberry milk tea? Okay. Because... So, and also spicy food. Do you like spicy food, Gio? Spicy? Yeah, spicy. You like spicy food? I like spicy. You like? No. I like spicy food wow. too. I, you like spicy food too? Yeah. Right. Okay. Here we, these are, we have here the list of food and drinks. Okay. Uh, oh my God. I don't like sour cream. Okay. Oh, sour and cream. Yeah. The sour cream. Okay. We have here the butter. Do you like that? You know what is butter? You no, know butter? What is butter? Butter? You don't know what is butter? No. You don't know? Oh, butter. I yeah. love butter. Yeah, you know that. Okay. How about cheese? You know that. I know butter, not butter. Ah, uh, and then ice cream. Look at the flavor I of the ice cream. ice cream. Look at the flavor of the ice cream. Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay, and then the milk. Up until now, are you still drinking a milk? No. Not anymore? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, of course. Yogurt. You like that? Like yogurt. 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 Oh, the spelling. Look at the spelling of the yogurt. Y O U R T. That's the American. That's the spelling of the American. American English. But the yogurt, yogurt. is Y O G H U R T. That's the British English. That's the spelling. Okay. Okay. Another here, coffee. Do you drink coffee? No. Have you tasted? I don't have you tasted it? I never taste coffee. This one. Suda. I saw you once you're drinking Coca-Cola. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's your favorite. You love Coca-Cola? You love Coca-Cola? Yeah. Oh, very like. How about tea? This one. Tea? Mm. I don't like tea very much. But your mom and your grandma? My mom and my grandma like. But ginger tea is very uh, sad, very uh, delicious. Yeah. Mm. Next, fruits. Okay, I know your favorite fruit. What is it again? Mango. Mango, yes. And that's also teacher Anne's favorite. Another here, mushrooms. You know what is this? I know mushroom. You know that? Okay. Have you yeah. tried it? You ate it? Yes. Oh, really? But I don't like it. You don't like I it? Why? It. But it isn't. It tastes not delicious. It tastes, it tastes like nothing. It tastes like nothing. Yeah. Nuts. How about nuts? Nuts. 
I like nut. I like nut. Okay, nut. Next is salad. I don't never eat salad. Never. Yeah. Okay. How about fruit salad here? You don't like fruit salad? I like fruit salad, but Not I vegetable. Don't yeah, but I never eat salad. Okay, fruit salad is a very, uh, it's a very, I would say, delicious, especially if you are going to mix everything like the real fruits, not the one in the can. Uh, you will have to slice it and then put a uh, cream and a milk. That's very delicious. Okay, yeah. how about this one? Vegetables. Okay, what is the vegetable that you like most? Cucumber. Cucumber. Okay, cucumber. Ah, you like cucumber. You like cucumber again. Okay. Cucumber. Yes. Another is, where is it? Cucumber. Mm -hmm. Yes, the bread. You like it? Cucumber. Da, yeah, I no, like cucumber. cucumber. Oh, you like cucumber. Okay, that much? You like it? No. Where is it? Not that Maybe. much. Okay, how about noodles? You like the noodles? I like noodles. Oh, yeah, I know it. How about cereal? Do you love this one? Do you like cereal? I never eat cereal that you I never don't know. Oh, you never eat cereal that you don't know. How about the bacon? You love bacon? You know bacon, it's delicious, but it's not nutritious. Yeah, it's delicious, but it's not actually nutritious. It's delicious, but it's not nutritious. When you, some other kids really love bacon, okay. Chilean does, she loves it, but it's not nutritious. Okay, but and also in the Philippines, it's very expensive, Gayo. <laughs> That's why we don't, because we don't, we, we only uh, buy it sometimes because, of course, teacher Anne is poor, we don't have a lot of money, so we only buy it sometime, but not always because it's expensive. I need to, okay. I, I need to find a lot of money. Okay, so here, how about the beef? Beef also is very expensive. How about you like that one? Yeah. Mm. Another. Chicken. You love chicken? I love chicken. You love chicken? Chicken, chicken. Okay. Now, egg. You love egg? Egg, egg. You love egg? Yes. I love egg. Okay. Next is ham. You love ham? Yes. Okay. Pork. I like pork. I know. Next one, phrasal verbs we have here. So these are the phrasal verbs that we have to, we have to use sometimes. So as you can see, teacher, why it becomes phrasal verb? From the word phrase, it should be in first in two words. Okay, so like this. Phrasal verbs from the word here, eating. Okay, do you know the meaning when I say that? Teacher, uh, uh, Keo, you will have to pig out. What do you mean by that one? Pig out. Do you know that? Pig out. What is pig out? Okay, it means you will have to eat a lot of food at one time. So in one time, I am very hungry. I want to eat a food. So it means that pig out. Okay, KO, pig out. Okay, it means you have to eat a lot of food at one time only. So you'll be very full because 
you're very hungry, so you need to eat a lot, a lot of food. Okay, that's pig out. Okay, next, cut back on. You know the word cut back on? What do you mean by that? Give me your own idea about that one. Cut back on. What do you mean by that? I don't know what is cut back on. Okay, it means from the word cut. So it means you will cut back on. On. So what do you mean by that one? That's a phrasal verb. Do you know the meaning? Phrasal? Yeah. No. When we say cut back on, it means that sample you're hungry or you are full and you want to eat food. So you will have to eat or you're thirsty. You will have to drink less of something. Okay. Oh. Example, I am very thirsty or I am very hungry and I want to eat a lot of food. I want to drink that much but it seems that i can't so cut back on although i want it but i won't like that so i will have to cut back on so meaning you will have to eat or to drink less of something you will not give in with what you really wanted another dig in you know the word dig in if it with enthusiasm oh yeah, yeah dig in first yeah. What do you mean by dig in? Oh, okay. It means <laughs> dig in, oh, teacher. It's not, uh, it's not like when we say dig in, it's digging in like we do like that. So dig in, it means to be to have or to eat something with enthusiasm, like eating very fast. And it seems that like, somebody will going to get your food. Like a boom. Oh, like that, like that, okay, Another. Whip up. You know the word whip up? It don't have pick up. It's a pick up. <laughs> okay, what do you mean by that one? Is to eat less. To eat. Okay, to quickly make a meal or something to eat. Like I want to, I want to, I am very hungry, so I want to whip up. So it means you want to prepare something for food. You will whip okay. up. Huh. Another, you will pick at. You will pick at. What do you mean by that? Remember, Keo, by the way. Remember, Keo, we are talking here about eating. Eating. Eating and drinking. So, every phrasal word that I told you is related to eating and drinking. So, when I say, Keo, pick at. What do you mean by that word? Pick at. Mean we eat slowly. Okay, to eat slowly or just a small amount of food, usually slowly. Do not make it fast. Do not dig in. Dig in is opposite with pick up. Okay? When I say, okay, you're digging in the food. So it means you're eating it with you're eating it with enthusiasm and it's so very fast. And then when I say Keo, you pick up. So it means you're just eating opposite to digging in. Okay? Understand, Keo? Okay, next one. Take out. Oh, this is very common. This is what we usually do when we cannot or we don't have time to dine in in the restaurant. What will we do? We have to... Take out. Okay. You have to take out. Okay. Take out is to go to the restaurant club. Okay, you will have to go to the restaurant. You will have to go to the fast food like McDonald's. Do you have McDonald's in Vietnam? KFC. You have KFC? Yes. Oh, no McDonald's? No. Jollibee? No Jollibee? I have Jollibee. Oh, you have Jollibee? Yes, no. I have Jollibee. Oh, you like Jollibee? Yes. What's I your like favorite? Oh, uh, what's your favorite food in Jollibee? Strawberry. Strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Okay. Here. Okay, okay yo, so I have here some. We are, I have to discuss to you some of those. Wait up for them. Um. Some of those alternatives on how to express opinions and how to make choices here okay 
keeps on going back. Okay, you have here, I will have to tell you about this. A young man is leaving home to study in another town. His parents want him to throw away some of his things before he goes. Talk together about which of these things he should keep and which he should throw away. So, we have here some pictures and tell me about this. Okay, like that. So, which do you think if you are the man, if you are the young man, he is leaving home, and then which do you think of these pictures, the given pictures here is that you want to keep and the other things that you don't like any uh, anymore and you will just throw it. Which do you think? I think it's old clothes. Yeah. Oh, you will throw it? You don't like it anymore? Old clothes. Yeah, okay. Um, Old toy. Yeah. And that all. Okay. Old clothes, old toys, like that. Because it's old, then we don't have to use it more. Yeah, very good. Because it's old and you don't need to use it anymore. Okay, how about your bike? Bike? Yeah, the bike. We can use it with when we have a sport lesson. Oh, a sport lesson. Okay, same with the sport equipment. Here. So we have here the same thing we're going to do. Okay, yo, we have three pictures. I will show you three pictures. And you have to you will have to tell me. What are the things and where are the people and what people are doing here? Okay. So first is you will have to refer the pictures, describe the pictures, and of course, you will have to speculate about the pictures. You will have to tell something and narrate about that one. Okay, Kyo? Okay. okay. By the way, Kyo, did you have your snacks? What time is it no. there? It's 9 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock, it's 9.23. 9 yeah, it's 9.23. 9.23? 9.22. It's 9.22, okay. Okay, here. So as you can see, these are the examples and the examples are the same. Okay. Now, Keo, in describing the pictures, first you need to describe everything you see in the pictures of, for up to one minute. You can talk about the picture. It's a picture of a very busy classroom like that. You will have to describe also what the people are wearing, like they are wearing shorts, they are wearing trousers, they are wearing jackets, like that. And also you will have to tell me what they are doing. So they are just cleaning, they're just cooking teacher, they're just sitting, watching TV, like that. And another one, what objects you can see in the pictures? A teacher, I see the cell phone, I see, I see the, what's that, the pen, the, the materials, the magazines, the notes, like that, or some fruits or anything that you can see within that area. Another, how the people are using them. Are they trying to use that for watching only? Are they trying to watch uh, to use that for taking a notes? Or are they trying to use that for taking a photo, especially the cell phone? Or are they using that for browsing in the internet? Okay. So those are the things that you have to tell me when I am showing you the pictures. Actually, we have three pictures like what we did before. So all you have to do is just to tell something about that as what we have stated here. Do you understand? Yes. Ako, I know you're a very smart boy. Teacher Anne is busy eating because I am hungry. Are you hungry, Kia? No. No, not that much. Hey. Okay. 
Okay, so but before that one, I would like to use some useful languages. Just listen to me. So this is some of the things that you have to remember when you use some useful, useful languages like the one we have, like uh, how you will, what is dig, dig, uh, what is agree, how to agree and how to disagree. Like you still remember that. How to say, how to do or how to give opinions and how to know or to dislike the opinions. So these are the sample useful languages that I'm going to share it to you. First is you have to give uh, you have to give a general introductions. Okay, you give general introduction to the pictures. This picture shows like this: the girl is sitting in the table, and the table is full of it's messy. It's not clean. It's not tidy because there are lots of things in the table. Next, you talk about the places. Okay, they are driving in the country. Example, teacher Anne is driving, going to the school. Okay, she is sitting comfortably in the car and she's driving. She's listening to music like that. Next is you will have to describe the people age. I think teacher Anne is already old. Uh, I guess she is already at around 60 years old. Okay, she has a lot of wrinkles in her face and she doesn't look good anymore like that. So another you will have to describe the people clothes. Okay, I think she's wearing a pair of um, shorts and a red t-shirt or I guess teacher Anne is wearing a whole dress. Okay, like that. And next one you have to describe people's action. What is teacher Anne doing Kayo? Okay. Teacher Anne is just sitting at the desk, just talking to Kayo and just eating this orange, this cat cat. Another. Now, you will have to describe the people. You describe the people actions. Okay, that's the action of teacher. Teacher Anne is sitting, eating like that. And you will have to describe the people roles in the pictures. I guess teacher Anne is a teacher. Oh no, she's not a teacher. She is an office worker. No, she's not an office worker. She's a nurse. Oh my God, she's not a nurse because she's not wearing a white. Ah, I know. Teacher Anne is janitor. Yeah, she is a janitor because she is what? She is. I don't remember. Ah, uh, she is having or she is doing the. Uh, Sweeping the floor. I can see teacher Anne sweeping the floor. That's teacher Anne. Okay. Now, you will have to describe people's feelings in the pictures. Oh, what do you think teacher Anne is feeling right now? Oh, you can tell that they are enjoying themselves. I guess teacher Anne is enjoying herself right now. Oh, no. Because I think so. Teacher Anne is doing something good today because she's smiling. No, teacher Anne seems to be a bit frightened. Why? Why? Because somebody will come to the office and then will go in to inspect and teacher Anne is not ready. That's why the face is looks nervous and so haggard and very stressed. Okay. So in that way, you can have that that you're showing feelings. Okay. Another that one. Oh, like that. Um, I guess that teacher looks very interesting. Why? Why can you say about that? Because in this activity, look at that. She is very or she is trying to concentrate. She's concentrating very hard to the lesson. No, that teacher is not is not actually that teacher is not very looks very interested. She looks very boring. She doesn't even know what to do. She doesn't even know what to speak up to the student. She looks boring. I don't like her like that. So this is how you are going to illustrate the feelings of what like describing me. Or I can describe you. Okay, Keo seems very interesting today because look at Keo. Oh, see? Keo is very yeah. enthusiastic as he listens us. He listens to teacher Anne. Oh, see? So this is how you will describe the people based on the pictures that I'm going to show to you. Okay? Next. Okay. You will have to paraphrase. You know the word paraphrasing? Like? No, what is paraphrase? Paraphrase. Use this phrase to describe words you don't know. Example, there are hard words that it's really hard for you to understand. Teacher, I cannot understand that word. It's quite 
it's uh, uh, it's quite um, very hard for me. What is that? So through paraphrasing, you were able to understand that word. Like when I say, oh, it's something you fry food in frying pan. And you don't know, it's something you fry food in where? In frying pan. Okay. It's a kind of a container for flowers. Okay. You don't know that one. What is that particular thing where you there is a kind of flower where it is a container for the flower. You really don't know that one. So actually it is a vase. So by giving such example or by paraphrasing that it this is a kind of flower in which I mean it's a kind of thing which is I will put the flower. This is a vase. So by paraphrasing that one, you're able to understand that, oh my God, teacher, it's very easy. It's a vase only. That. Another thing is when I say that, Okay, so wardrobe. You know what is wardrobe? You know what is that? What is wardrobe? You don't know what is wardrobe? Yep. Okay, like what well, I say, teacher, I have a wardrobe. What's that? Or you will say, teacher, you know, my mom bought a new wardrobe. What is that? It is? It's just like, oh, teacher, I really don't know what is wardrobe. Okay, you will be paraphrasing that one you will have to tell something about the wardrobe so that you will understand and your mom also understand about that okay teacher it's a wardrobe it's a cupboard for keeping clothes in okay so it's some, some sort of the cupboard in which you will going to keep all your clothes it's a wardrobe Okay, but somehow we use wardrobe for uh, for a very formal English, like you are using that wardrobe for rich family. Okay. Some other family, they go, oh, I have a very nice wardrobe. Okay, wardrobe. Okay, so they are using that from formal English, like they use that for some family who have, okay, or, or family who are well off family. Family who are rich, they use that one. But if you are poor, oh, that's cabinet. Oh, butanganan, it's in vernacular, you know, in vernacular here, in vernacular, Keo, we use that what one, it's cabinet. Vernacular. Oh, vernacular is our language, it's Bisaya, like butanganan o sinina, like that. It's our language, butanganan o sinina, it is where our clothes put it in. Ah, that's a wardrobe. Okay. Oh. Another young one, it's like, when you do some useful languages, you will have to do guess you make a guess for that one so it seems okay some other things that we really don't know so we just teacher i'm just only it's a guess you always tell it to me you keep on saying that teacher it's a guess okay do you know the word guess you just you are not sure yes, something. I think, guess something that i think my card up in the cupboard i think some some something like that Okay, very good. Yes. So it might be summer because some people are wearing sunglasses. So we are just guessing, oh, I guess it's summer today. Or it might be summer now because some people are wearing glasses. Oh, like that. So you're just guessing something. Or it could be this picture is, uh, is taken probably somewhere in Korea or probably somewhere in Japan. Why? Why did you say that? Because I have seen some beautiful cherry blossoms. You know cherry blossoms? Okay. Um, I've seen that one. And you know what? Cherry blossoms are mostly be seen in the places like Korea or in the places like Japan. Mm, I smell the cherry blossom. Probably she is in Japan or she is in Korea. Oh, see that one? I smell it even though I'm still, I'm here in the full piece. Uh, she is or he is in the Korea or Japan. Okay. That's my senses. Okay, another that one is you will have to describe possession. So when you describe possessions, Keo, it's like you will using the word what? The word describing. Yeah, of course. Somehow you will have to use some preposition like in the middle of, near, behind, next. Okay, that's we will have to 
describe where is that particular thing. So what I am telling to you here, Keo, these are the things that will be your guide as you use some of those we considered it as useful languages. So these useful languages will help you to identify or will, will be your guide in which how you will going to describe the picture yeah how you will you going to describe the pictures will you describe it properly oh teacher i don't know much about the picture okay here so right now we'll go in i will show you the pictures and please tell me more description about this one go okay yo. what have you seen in the picture i can see the boy and two women at Talking together. Yeah, this one, this one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just don't focus them. Just here. One of the women are talking to the phone. Yeah, and then. And then the boy oh, very sad. Is he look very sad? Oh, why do you think he's very sad? I think it's um, his mom don't listen to him. Oh, because his mom doesn't listen to him. Do you think whose mom is this? The do, you red think, mom? do you think this is the boy's mom or no? I think that is a boy's mom. Okay, so next one. So we have here a lot of people. Can you see there are, there are a lot of people sitting on the chair, having food, okay, and using the phone, chatting like that. And then they're practically in the restaurant or in the canteen. But I guess this is in the canteen. Hey, on the table, you can see what, Kale? On the table, I can see a, a phone. Yeah, you can see the phone. What else? You can see the orange juice. Yeah. You can see the food. You can see the I wallet. Can... There's a wallet. wallet? And yeah, What's here. This one, the wallet in which you are going to put oh. your money. Okay. Next picture. Oh. What have you seen in the next picture? Look at the next picture. Can you describe this one? Yes. In the what? next picture, I can see the waiters bringing food to grandma and grandpa. Okay, what have you seen to the pictures? Are the people in the pictures young ones or the old ones? The old and the young one. Okay, so here. Okay, sorry, Koya. Okay, wait, wait, wait for a while. Okay, so here. Next one. And do you think, are they happy? I do you think, think they, they are happy? Yes. If, yeah, okay. They keep on, why? Why do you think that? Because they keep on smiling. Oh, yeah, they keep on smiling. Okay, so there are many people, mostly they are older, old ones, the elder persons. They are sitting on the chair, they're having a food, of course, and they are chatting, talking with each other happily. Can you see that? And then yes. I guess this is the restaurant. As you can see, there is a what there is <laughs> there is a waitress. But compare if you compare here in these pictures, this is not a restaurant. This is only a canteen. Okay. So in this one you can see clearly describe that this is a restaurant. You can see the, what is this? I can see the food. What else? And I can see the waitress. Yeah, the waitress. And on the table, what have you seen on the table? A cup and a pot of flour. Yeah, it's the flour. And then there is all food there is a wine yeah there is a wine yeah there is a wine okay this one okay last do we have another picture okay before before well young what happened okay 
Now, Keo, those are the two pictures. Now, let us talk about what you do at lunchtime during the week. Your lunchtime. What time you will eat, Keo, by the way? I don't know. I think it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock? Okay, so I you will... Think... Where will you eat? In the house or in the school? In the... When is... We can I eat in a house, but when it's weekday, I eat in a school. Ah, you eat in the school. Okay. So for a while, Kaya. Okay. Do you find it nice to eat in the school or do you find it good to eat in the house? I find it good to eat in the house. Ah, you don't like eating in school? No, I like eating in school too, uh -huh. but I like with eating in house best. Oh, you like you will be comfortable eating in the house best because after you eat, what will you do? Do you sweep the floor? Do you help your mother? Uh, you help your mother? No. no, then I play with my brother. Oh, you play with your brother okay so these are the most common as you can see here look at their foods it's some kind it's very healthy we have here the carrots oh i guess this popcorn and this is pasta this is grapes and as you can see the bread there is uh what's in here some kind of a vegetable salad okay look at that one it's some kind of a very nutritious meal for the lunch okay okay what it's you don't very, like yeah very nutritious what you don't like doing at lunch Keo? you don't like uh, i don't know what i don't like okay but most mostly you don't like to play during lunchtime, will you play when you are in school? What will you do when you are in school? Because your mom is not around, what will you do? I play. You play, of course, because you're still eight, you have to play. And a lot of your classmates is playing where? Inside the classroom or outside? Outside. Okay, how many teachers do you have? Two. Two teachers. You have two teachers only. And how oh, many wait. are oh yeah, how many are you in the one. class? One. I have one teacher. Okay, how many one. are you in the class? I will. What is it? How many are you? How many classmates do you have? Twenty two. Ah, you are twenty two in the class. And the name of your school is V A? V A? V A school. V A school. Yes. Okay, that's Vietnamese. American school, okay. And how yeah. about your brother? Your brother also is studying there. No. Oh, where? My brother are studying in a another school. Another school, just near your house, or quite far. Quite. Okay. So now, Kyu, we are finished with this one tonight. We'll be moving, or we have our check first. Okay, so this is it. It's goodbye time already. So we have to move to 7.2 tonight. Okay, so this is quite fast. We've been talking a lot every day. Where is my point? Oh, yeah, later I will give you the points. Okay, let us have here the bye-bye. Goodbye. Okay, give me your points. What's your total score? Okay. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Two thousand. I can clap my hands. Two thousand six hundred. I can stamp my feet. Okay. I can clap my hands. Two thousand six hundred forty-six. I can stamp my feet. No, sixty-four. Not forty-six. Two thousand four hundred sixty-four. Okay, plus 20. Okay, 2,484 now. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye-bye, Kyo.
拜拜。